even further so that we are able to support the next generations. For that reason, Honorable Speaker, I beg to support, but with one right, Honorable Speaker, I was surprised by the comments by, uh, that were uh, uh, made by the Honorable Milio Diambo about the U.S. elections, Honorable Speaker. I have known Honorable Milio as a well-experienced politician, but I didn't know that with her years of experience, she couldn't predict and know clearly that her project, sorry, her uh, candidate would lose because it was, it was in black and white. It was, in, it was, it was outright. I mean, I well, was informed. Let, inform, let me inform Honorable Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Osoro in order to impute improper motive on me by inferring that I only follow candidates who are likely to win. When in fact I am a woman of principle and I follow people based on my conviction and on my principle. And I follow Kamala Harris, one, because her name sounds Luya, but secondly, because she's a woman and I support women wherever they are found especially if she does not have any stain. I know people have been putting, uh, imputing some of the things that the current president has done on her, but she's a woman. I support her whether she wins or she fails. I am a woman, the strength of a woman, whether we win or lose, women. I thought Honorable Mili, Honorable Osoro was saying uh, he didn't quite understand the policies of Honorable of, of Kamala, Vice President Kamala Harris, whom you are supporting. Not that she's a woman. We, we, uh, uh, anyway, Honorable Soro, proceed. Let, let, let me conclude, Honorable Speaker, and say that uh, the Honorable Kamala and many other women should, um, we keep encouraging them not to use only the gender card in selling their policies. There are so many things you can tell the public other than saying, you know, I'm a woman, now elect me. And that is why... Um, uh, with that policies, with that policies, Honorable Speaker. But there is there is one thing to celebrate, and I think this is uh, to Honorable Mili, that the House uh, Representative or the uh, the Minnesota Minnesota State Honorable Speaker, a kiss woman that I met and had dinner with on 23rd of May 2024, has actually won uh, uh, the, the the seat. At least for that one, we can celebrate because we are linked to that. But I also want to take this opportunity, Honorable Speaker, in advance to appreciate the people of America for electing a man, a strong man, in the name of Donald Trump. The world is moving in the right direction. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Mover to reply. Honorable Speaker, I would want to invoke um, standing order number one and call upon your discretion to allow me to donate just four minutes. Uh, Two minutes, actually. A minute to the Honorable Oundo, Oungo, Waungo and the Honorable uh, Wakili Geshimo. A minute each. Honorable Dick Maungu. <laughs> 